Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at the best method I've found for setting up Windows 11 Home without using a Microsoft account. It can be slightly fiddly depending on how you are set up for internet access, um, but it can be done with an initial connection to activate the machine, followed by uh, disconnecting. So what we are going to do is this machine is uh, a desktop with Ethernet. If you are on a laptop with wireless then obviously you can do that as well. We're going to run through the initial steps and what you'll see here is we have it asking for an internet connection and it will not allow us to continue. Uh, now this would be offering wireless networks if we had those available to us. As it is I'm going to plug in the Ethernet connection and once this detects the internet access, it should allow us to continue. Now this will check for updates and get ready. And at this point, it should ask us to sign into our Microsoft account. Uh, with Windows 11 Pro, you can continue with a local account. However, Home typically requests that you set up a Microsoft account. Once you've done this, you can create additional local users. You can even delete your Microsoft account. Um, but during this initial setup, it does try and sort of strong arm you into using one. But if you do not want to do that, what we'll do is we'll allow it to take these updates. And once it has finished doing this, we will see that it is going to ask us to sign in. So we're going to skip giving the PC a name. And we have, we want to, let's add your Microsoft account. If we say sign in options on Windows 10 Pro, we would see here that we have the option to uh, create a local account, but because this is home, we sorry, Windows 11 Pro, we would find that. Because this is Windows 11 Home, we don't have that option. And this is the uh, initial uh, release on October 5th, so not one of the pre-release versions. So we're going to hit back, and what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to unplug the network cable. Now, if you're using wireless, because you don't have any wireless controls at this point, what you could do is um, either switch off your router to disconnect internet access, um, if your laptop has an airplane mode button, you may be able to use that to turn off the wireless, but you need to find some way of disconnecting from the internet. So, with the, lap with the machine disconnected from the internet, we're going to say, no account, create one. Now, because it cannot go to the internet to create the account, it's then going to say, enter your name, I'm going to fill in brew, and we can enter a password, I'm going to leave it blank. And easy as that, we have now skipped past the requirement to create a Microsoft account. Clicking through there very quickly. And final setup will just take place. So like I say, this can be a little bit awkward if you're running this on a laptop and you're connected wireless just in terms of getting away, it may be physically just move the uh, laptop out of range of your wireless network or switch off the router that's providing you internet access, anything just to break the internet connection while Windows isn't really offering you it. Um, I did try going through the admin mode, but basically it would always afterwards kick you back to the out of box experience, which then didn't really help. Um, so this is the best method I have found for doing this. So with the system now going to the desktop, and you will see we are not connected to the internet currently, but if we go into settings, we have our account, Brew, it is a local admin account. If we look at family and other users, we have no other users. We can create a new account, and that will create us a local account because we are not connected to the internet. We can plug in our internet access, and 
after a moment. You see we have our internet access, we can check for updates. And that will bring in our display driver and other things because this is a completely clean install. And even if we restart the system or anything else, it is not going to force us to sign this into a Microsoft account. We can continue using it as a local account as we want. I hope you found this video helpful. Do let me know in the comments if it has worked for you. Hit like if it has as well. And hit subscribe if you'd like to see more videos as we post them. If you have other any other questions about Windows 11, uh, do just put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them as well. Thanks for watching.